If you are considering or currently publishing to the KDP Amazon platform, then you're probably always looking for the right niche to publish in. And here on this channel, I've talked a little bit about what's called the Kindle Short Reads. And I think it's important that we kind of come back to the well on this one. In a new series, I'm going to be talking about some of the best short reads in 2020. In fact, today we're going to talk about the 10 best 15 minute short reads niches in 2020. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Dale, a best-selling author as well as self-publishing advocate that wants to show you how to publish books that sell. If you want that too, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring that bell and click it to all. That way you don't miss a single one of these videos. I want to let you know that a little bit later on, I'll be talking a little bit more about our sponsors here, Coda B. If you want to skip right to the chase, you can always go over to dalelinks.com slash Coda B. That's K-O-T-O-B-E-E. -E. That is dalelinks.com slash Coda B. Let's start it out with what are Kindle short reads? Well, essentially, this is a very special category, and according to Amazon, it's an invite only. Uh, it's it's kind of weird how this works out. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and just short it for you. You're, when you go to publish your book, all right, or your publication of some sort, you're allowed up to two BISAC categories when you get into your first page, and based on the keywords and the BISAC categories you utilize and the page count, they're going to categorize your book into whatever category that works, the browse path that works over on Amazon's marketplace. It's never the one that you select in BISAC. Now, if your book is short enough, it can go into short reads. Now you're probably going, but Dale, like, what, what makes it short enough? I'm glad you asked because there's actually six types of short reads. And this includes two hour short reads, 90 minute short reads, one hour short reads, 45 minutes, 30 minutes and 15 minutes. It's the latter here that we're gonna hang our hat on today when we're discussing 15 minutes. Now, in the event you aren't automatically categorized into it, you can technically ask to be added to it. But might I recommend is you take a look at the page count. So for today, 15 minute short reads are one to 11 pages, but that's not the number of pages that are on your manuscript. So whether you're using Coda B software, plug, plug for our sponsors there, or you're using Microsoft Word, you might see the number of pages on there as being that, but KDP determines the number of pages. So to find out your actual page count and what they see on the KDP platform, you're gonna select promote and advertise and inside there scroll down and you'll see the KENPC. That's the Kindle Edition Normalized Page Count. That's the actual number of pages they recognize for your given publication. So when I share some of these little browse paths that I'm gonna you know, give to you here today, keep in mind, you can ask to be put in there. Some Amazon representatives will say, no, that's invite only. Whereas most of them, as long as you are relevant to the niche and you have the proper page count through KEMPC, you should be able to get in there. And to add that, all you gotta do is scroll down to contact us, go over into the specific book details, and you're just gonna say, uh, ASIN such and such, please add it to this browse path. And you wanna do the full browse path. And when we go through some of these, it's important to note that the browse paths are not necessarily the name of the best sellers list. The browse paths are gonna be listed on the left hand side, kind of like in this photo right here. So are Kindle short reads worth it? Now, it really depends. It's based on the relevance and the demand. So there's gonna be some short read categories I'm gonna share with you today that are on shaky ground, meaning that there's some proof of concept, there's a few people buying it, but are there a lot? No, and then there's some short reads categories that are super, super competitive and it's tough to get into. But 15 minute short reads, I'm gonna give you a summary of how I feel about 15 minute short reads towards the very end of this video. Now, how do you identify the winning short short reads categories. So you can go through the old fashioned method. The old fashioned method includes, you're gonna download DS Amazon Quick View into your browser, okay? That's a free extension, doesn't cost you a dime. I'm not gonna leave a link, you can find it. Um, and just go ahead and get that enabled for incognito mode. Then you're gonna open up your browser in incognito mode, go into the Amazon Kindle store or the Amazon bookstore and do all of your research that way. And you'll pull up different types of books and things like that. And when you find those books, you're gonna look at the categories inside the product details. You'll go over to the best sellers list and voila, there you go, it's good to go. You're gonna to wanna to kinda of figure out, first of all, I always pay attention to the top 10 books of a best seller list. 
that's typically, I like to see it right around 10,000 to 100,000 as far as the best seller rank. Remember, the higher up that you go for an Amazon best seller rank, the worse off it is. The lower you go to number one, the better off it is and the more competitive it is, obviously. But I'm gonna tell you this, I'm a cheater. I, I, I cheated, I had some you know, help here. I got actually a, a product that's called Publisher Rocket. I've actually shared it in another video. I'll put a link inside the description down below where I talk a little bit about Publisher Rocket and how to utilize it. But I just used this and I literally took like 10 minutes to look up some of this stuff. And you can literally do this too. Now keep in mind that these niches are going to ebb and flow throughout the year. It really depends, sometimes Amazon subtracts them and sometimes they add to them and it's it's always kind of changing though over there on Amazon they will because the end result is trying to get more customers to buy things okay so let's talk about the 10 best 15 minute short read niches in 2020 and I'm gonna tell you I organized it in logical order what I looked at first of all was what's going to be the hardest and I said, what's gonna be the easiest? So I'm gonna save the easiest to break into to last, but bear in mind, just because it's easy doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be worth it. And I'm gonna give you some insights as we go through to each one of them. Number one, first of all, 15 minute mystery, thriller, and suspense short reads. Now, to me, I think this one is actually pretty worth it. It's a little bit competitive, and the number one book is hanging out right about 14,000 in the paid Kindle store, and the number 10 spot is at 67,000. Now, to put this in context, you roughly need to sell about four to 13 eBooks per day to place within that top 10 of this specific browse path. Number two, 15 minute romance short reads. This one's a bit tougher, okay? Um, the only reason why I kind of change it is, it's, it's really weird on, on this one because Unlike the last one, you can kind of get in there, but this one's going to require more work if you want to get to the top. And you're looking at the top spot being taken by a book that's ranking 3,500 in the paid Kindle store and the number 10 spot at 59,000. To kind of put this in perspective, you need to sell about five to 68 books a day. Number three. 15 minute literature and fiction short reads. Now this one's gonna be pretty tough because the number one spot is actually taken with a book with 7,300 in the paid Kindle store and the number 10 spot is actually at 52,800. Now to again, put this all in perspective, it's gonna be about five to 21 sales per day. So if you're thinking to yourself, remember as you're going along and you're hearing some of these numbers, Think to yourself, can I realistically sell five eBooks per day? How can I do that? What are the marketing efforts I need to put into this so that way I can place at the top of these categories? Why do you wanna place at the top of these categories? Well, first of all, it's gonna make you more visible. And also, if you think of it from perspective of, if you're sharing the same shelf space, the virtual shelf space, the likelihood of, say, someone buying this book and then having your book recommended to them has greatly increased by getting yourself categorized properly. Hmm, the more you know. Number four, 15 minute business and money short reads. Now, this one's a little volatile. And when I say volatile, if you look at the number one rank, it's like, oh, okay, that's, that's gonna be pretty tough to get into. But then you look at the number 10 spot, it's like, it's pretty easy to get into. In fact, you could probably just publish, sell one copy in your set. In fact, actually the, the rank for this at number one was at about 6,000 and number 10 was at 115,000. It's roughly about one to 22 sales per day altogether. Number five, 15 minute education and reference short reads. Now, this one is going to be pretty freaking tough. Now, unlike the last one, you had the number 10 rank that was well over 100,000, whereas this one's right at that borderline. In fact, the number one spot's about 6,500 and the number 10 spot is at 99,000. So if you can get your books ABSR, otherwise known as Amazon bestseller rank, right between 6,500 and 99,000, you are going to be in like Flynn, that's it. You're gonna be able to place in that top echelon inside that given niche. Number six, 15 minute science fiction and fantasy short reads. Now this one is a little iffy, it's iffy. I'm looking at the top and I'm like, okay, that's definitely achievable because the number one spot's at about 28,000 and the number 10 spot those at about 129,000. Again, the only reason why I call it iffy is if you're seeing the number 10 spot being held by something that's over 100,000, it gets you kind of wondering, huh, like, is there really a market here buying this stuff? Are they really interested in this? 
that's why I like to see my browse paths, the categories being the top 10, staying between 10,000 and 100,000. Now there's nothing wrong with it going, say lower than 10,000, because that means it's just more competitive, it's gonna require more work to get number one. But I definitely don't wanna see that number 10 spot dipping above 100,000 or greater as far as a bestseller rank. Number seven, 15 minute self-help short reads. Ooh, this is another iffy one, all right? This is an iffy one. It's at 46,000 at number one, as well as 145,000. Again, you can kind of see it's just a little all over the place. Now you're probably going, but Dale, you said these were the best ones. Ah, uh, yeah, 15 minute short reads, unfortunately, um, I'm telling you the best of the best. So this kind of tells you that there's room for growth here and or the audience just isn't interested in most of these things. So it's something to think about. Keep in mind, that doesn't apply to all types of short reads. You know, in the coming weeks, I'll be telling you a little bit more about the other ones that are a little bit more competitive, a little harder to break into. And before I get, that's about one to six sales per day altogether in order to place in that. Number eight, 15 minute teen and young adult short reads. This one is questionable. Uh, it's even worse than the last one. Okay, it's got at 49,000 at the top spot, but then you're looking at number 10 spot and it's 238,000? Good Lord, that means you're probably getting a sale maybe every few days. Uh, you're probably getting a couple page reads a day, tops. So just think about this, it's gonna be about one to six sales per day in order to actually get into the top 10 of this one. Moving right along over into number nine, we got the 15 minute religion and spirituality short reads. This one is kind of iffy. Um, it's right at the top spot is at 55,000 and the number 10 spot is at 169,000. It's roughly about one to five sales per day. Before I show you the easiest category in 15 minute short reads to break into, I think I wanna show you just how easy it is to use Codabee to actually format your book. Let's go ahead, take it away, Dale. First of all, head over to dalelinks.com slash Codabee, that's K-O-T-O-B-E-E. -E. When you head on over there, you're gonna download it for Windows and it's also available for Mac and you're gonna install this. As Soon as it's all done installing, we're gonna open it on up. We have choices of reflowable or fixed layout. If you have questions, click the help button. I'm gonna take my Microsoft Word document and I'm gonna copy and paste it over into Codeby. And at this point, I can start to format this however I wish. I can insert links and pictures and so on. And now we can format it in any variation that we wish to. I'm gonna do it for EPUB so I can upload this to any platform I want. I hit create, save, and now if I want to, I can head over to KDP, I can head over to Apple, and all I need to do is put in my book's metadata, and then I can just upload that EPUB, or I can upload, in this instance, a Mobi if I had that formatted. And number one, we have 15-minute craft, hobby, and home short reads. Yikes. That's all I have to say is yikes. You're like, but Dale, this is a best of list. Yes, it is a best of list. And I'll give my opinion here in just a second of why I feel like, you know, but we're looking at this top spot here, 96,000 at number one and 162,000 at number 10. So at least it's not too volatile as it was on a couple of these that I mentioned before. It's right in there, but it's showing to us that there's really not much of an audience looking for this just yet. I mean, maybe it's a seasonal thing, it could be something altogether different, but either way, we can see it's very volatile. If you did about one to two sales per day, you would probably take this hop spot. In fact, I'd almost guarantee if you did two sales, you're already at number one in order to break into this. Now, you're probably saying, well, Dale, what the heck? You gave me a best of list on the 15 minute short reads, but it looks like it's all just a lot of just easy niches for me to kind of just go pick off. And that's great if you're a new author, this is awesome, this is a good sign. But I also want to let you know that just because it's easy doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be worthwhile in the long term. So I wouldn't set up shop or hedge all your bets on these 15 minute short reads. They are good if you want a quick victory or a way to actually promote your brand beyond your larger flagship books or your epic novels. If some of this is starting to kind of be like, okay, I need to get some more information about short reads. Believe it or not, I actually have a full video where we talk about short reads. We go a little bit more of a deep dive into it and I discuss what you're looking for, how to find it, and how to put your books into that. Take a look at it in this next video. I will see you there. What are you waiting for? Get on down there.